Hello from Chicago, Alan Nuckman, high above the trading floor at the CME Group, talking energy with the focus on both crude and gasoline, obviously. So it's been a tale of two markets and now they've shifted once again. Crude oil today closed at three, uh, three week highs. 49.10 was a close of 45 cents. It marked three week highs today at 49.40. So closing in on that nifty 50 mark we keep talking about. Uh, it's been a big bounce, a big reversal. 47.30 was last Friday's close. And if we go further back, um, that's about a 4% move in just, in just the two days so far this week. But if we go further back from that, we can see that the extreme low was 45.50 last Thursday. So it's been an 8% turnaround in just four sessions after that false breakdown below 47. Again, the range between 47 and 50 has captured most of the market moves in the last weeks and weeks. We had a false breakdown of the downside. Now let's see if it can push above 50 one more time. If it can do so, then we're talking about $53. We haven't been above 50 since August the 8th. Like I said, a tale of two markets. So crude went down last week when we had some uh, energy supply backed up with the refiners turned off, but now they're coming back online. I'll talk about that in just a second, but this is a pretty significant bounce off the bottom one more time that you've got to respect the bullishness of the markets and it, the inability to really give this market a smack down when it does start to sell off. To get back to the refiners restarting, that's important here because what that allows this crude backup to get filtered through. So 25% of the capacity was down with that Hurricane Harvey. So some of these are coming back online. Uh, gasoline made a high on Friday, a key reversal top. Got as high as 178 uh, in the front month contract and closed lower. Um, and so that's a sign of a top in play possibly. We've continued to move lower since that time. And if we look to the deferred futures contract, the December futures contract is down at 150. So back to where it started before the storm, essentially the market's telling us that uh, this is a temporary phenomenon. Now, when it comes to oil price news and the drivers, we look at inventory data that's been delayed a day because of the holiday. Also the supply number, the EIA supply number, instead of coming out on Wednesday, comes out on Thursday. So net net, we've got crude oil moving up, gasoline moving down, correcting what had happened last week. And all of our focus remains on $50 a barrel. A push above 50 can send things to 53. Alan Nuckman here in Chicago.